Hello and welcome to another exciting unboxing edition of Mark Fixes Stuff. You'll notice there's no logo up here, there's no editing. We're completely live because my editing PC is in a million pieces. It's scattered to the four winds. The four winds. And this box has an embarrassing backstory. First, let me give you that backstory. Oh, another injury, by the way. Injury! This box was sent to me by Gavin Anthony Harris, a black man who professes himself so white that he makes David Cameron look like Snoop Doggy Poop or some similar rapper. I don't want to get sued. Have a look at this box from the outside. First off, please take note of what the original contents of the box was in the bottom right hand corner. Subsection description, 2B, swimwear, boys wear. Lovely, you think. A bit of recycling, upcycling, reusing boxes to help the environment. Well, this box arrived on Friday. On Thursday night, I had a pretty rough night. I worked late, then the children woke me up, many, many things. So I was dozing fitfully on Friday and I heard a rat-a-tat-tat at my door. I wandered down wearing a very small pair of underpants. In fact, they could be meaningfully described as cabana boy pants. Wearing nothing but my cabana boy pants, I opened the back door to see, to my surprise, one of the only English courier drivers that we get round here. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking people who aren't English and being courier drivers. It's hard work. In fact, English people should actually try doing some hard work sometimes. However, unfortunately, being English, I can't even speak, being English increased his comprehension of what was to come. So I'm stood there at the back door accepting my box of boys' swimwear in my cabana boy pants where my butt cheeks hang quite low and he's looking at me quite funny. I'm not quite sure why until I accept the package which is addressed to that's right Mr. Minicock McGee of Hot Teen Boys Weekly. Fuck you Gavin Anthony Harris. Fuck you, and the horse you rode in on. However, it was very funny, so well done. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 points. Well done. Anyway, let's open this bitch up and have a look inside. I'm skillfully rearranging the camera so you can't see the bobbins and thread over there from my wife's needlework, and you can't see the pretty flowers because I'd never live it down if you knew that the, oh, I just did that, didn't I? Damn. Okay, let's open it up and hope for some retro goodness, oh yeah. Here we go, opening the box with my wife's knife that I'm not meant to use for this because she says it's quite dirty to do it with this knife. Actually, I told my wife today, I said, listen, stop being so lippy or you'll make these beds and load the dishwasher yourself. Here you go, chubby brown. So, so let's see, I've been homophobic and possibly racist in this video already, I guess. I don't know which one of you. I'm not homophobic or racist. I believe in equality. I believe everyone should be screwed over equally by the government. I'm actually a bit afraid of what's in here. Oh, looks like some sort of Muppets jazz rag. Some dirty, jism soaked packing materials. Ooh, it says Merry Christmas. That's a bit worrying. There we go, look. Very sexy, sexy. Where's my favourite? Oh, yes. There she is. Yes. Hey, Kirby, come and give me a kiss. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Blue, I can't do a kiss. I'm Josh. Hey, anti Semitic, all in one video. But I joke. But I joke. Right, let's see. This is going to be my least popular video anyway. So what he's actually done is just thrown a load of old crap into a box for me. Lovely, thanks for that. Um, I'm hiding your address here, Gavin, because I actually love you. In a non-dirty way, of course. Is that your idea of a self-addressed envelope then? Thanks for that. Pardon me, boy, it's at the cat to chew the new shoes. 
Right, get all this crap out of here. And the educated amongst you will soon see that what we have in this box is a very, 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 very sexy SNK Neo Geo power adapter. A Neo Geo power. Oh, these are the things which are destined to fail and people who want your help send them to you in packages. However, they call you rude names on the outside, thus losing all privileges. I'm going to put this straight in the bin right now. Oh, yes, that felt good. Yeah, but not really. I'll uh, have a look at this for you, Gav. And if we can't fix this one, we will work out something else. 5 volt, 2 amp, 10 volt, 1 amp. Very easy to put something together that works for that. Difficult part with these um, power adapters is getting the bespoke plug. Look at that. It is the answer to the question. What is Danky Kang? Wicked for the ColecoVision and Omega Race for the ColecoVision. This has been opened, which is always a bit suspicious. And Mousetrap for the ColecoVision. Opened again, but it's probably to clean the edge connectors because they didn't have cotton buds back then. Um, they just had wire wool and nails. Okay, so that's three awesome games. Thanks, Gav. I do love you really, Gav. Looping on the ColecoVision. Oh, yes. What's the year this? 1983. Oh, my gosh. Could all do with a bath, but to be fair, Gavin did say that he lives in a filthy cesspit and everything that comes from his house is going to be covered in jism and poo. Smurf! On the ColecoVision! I think you're seeing a little theme here. And... What is Danky Kang Jr? On the ColecoVision! I'm going quite fast here because time is short and so are hobbits. What have we got here? Pit stop. On the... Atari 26 at... ColecoVision! Woohoo! And... Another copy of Omega Race. Got some trades here. This one hasn't been opened. ColecoVision. ColecoVision. Some people call it the Coleco. Is it the Coleco or the Coleco? I don't know. Looping. Again, some trades here. Coming up, bitches. And, oh, the awesome Ladybug by Universal for the ColecoVision! Saxon. Fuck a priest, that looks awesome. For the ColecoVision! What else have we got here? Oh, there's a, there's a few more. Kung Fu Super Kicks, Pursuit of the Ninja. Exclusively distributed by Telegames USA for the ColecoVision. Carnival by Sega, an awesome classic. ColecoVision. This one is for the ColecoVision and Adam. And it is Destructor. Here we have the very sexy adventure for the ColecoVision. I wonder how many people have turned off now because I keep saying ColecoVision. Space Panic! Da! 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 Motherfucking Space Panic! ColecoVision. And I think finally, cartridge wise, Hero by Activision. Different shaped cartridge, that. It's got the um, all important penis shaped tip for inserting to the rectum. For the ColecoVision by Activision. Oh, days of glory past, eh? A bit of cardboard. Um, a bit of cardboard. Oh, hang on, there's another one. Turbo by Sega. I bet that's not Turbo from um, Wreck It Ralph. Might be funny if it was. Actually Turbo from Rick and Ralph. Oh, how come in my pants? Look at the ColecoVision. Oh, look at the rarer white controller. Well, it was white before someone used it as a poo paddle and stuck it up their bum. The uh, more common black ColecoVision controller. This all needs a bit of a bar. He did actually say that. I jest, I joke, I love you all. CBS, this is heavier than odorous urungus. 
his underpants. Rest in peace, Dave Brocky, by the way. Um, 15 amps, plus and minus 5 volts, and a plus 12 volts. So, if this doesn't work, it's a good um, candidate for an ATX PSU replacement. Let's see what the output connector looks like. Like that. So, yeah, you're not going to be finding one of those in uh, Tandy or Radio Shack, whatever the fuck they're called these days. 13 amp plug. Plug for my channel, Mark Fixes Stuff. Subscribe to get your fix. And uh, let's just dump this out through the box so you can see my new ColecoVision. Um, this is intended for some dangers, so uh, yes. Need a bath, needs a bit of love, but it is going to be freaking awesome. The old uh, common interface. Insert cartridge here, reset button, on, off, paddles, woohoo, buttons, you name it, it's there. Socket might be a bit wonky on that, but all works. Looks like it's had a bit of a running repair on the back. Underneath, yeah, looking good. So, without further ado, I'm going to say thank you, Gavin. You're a very, very good sport, good gag. Um, I'm going to have to sign out because I'm actually running out of um, tape on the thing. Oh, by the way, I sliced the top off of my finger the other day. How does that look to you? Good? Do you like it? Does it make you horny, baby? Does it? It shouldn't do because it fucking hurt. See you all later, losers. Bye!